All right, we are live and we are recording. Yay! So my name is Becky Malden. And I am Marie Elam. And you guys are here for the webinar on how to make a living as a holistic health practitioner. And we're super excited that you guys are here today with us. We have a lot of great information to share with you in the next 45 minutes or so. So if you do not mind, we are going to jump right in. Um, in this training today, we're going to share with you guys um, what we're sharing is a portion of our high level practitioner course. And we wanted to share it because we meet so many different people who really want to help people in the holistic health area, but they're stuck and they're not really in a place where they're never making that dream a reality. And it's, it's Becky and I's passion and our mission to empower people so that they can become holistic health practitioners who are making a huge difference in the world. And so we wanted to share some of those tips and advice to help you um, because the truth is we're in a health epidemic. This world is just struggling and we desperately need more practitioners who know how to help people get well naturally. Absolutely. So thank you guys so much for showing up live with us today. And we know you're really busy, so thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to make this a priority. And the fact that you're here tells us that you are passionate about this. And if you're like us, it's really not about the money, it's about making a difference in people's lives. And the cool thing is when you do that, the money just comes as a natural byproduct of that. And so we want to be able to share with you how to do what we do. And when you do that, it's amazing how things just have a way of working themselves out. And we're going to talk about the practicalities of that in this webinar, you know, some of the nuts and bolts, business models, and things like that. So we are going to talk a little bit about the money, but we want to also show you how you can do this without having a lot of money to invest. And we're even going to go over some of our actual students' stories who have gone through our program, and you'll see how they've been able to make a, an amazing living getting into this field as a holistic health practitioner. And so you don't have to struggle, try to juggle two part-time jobs just to live your dream. Mm -hmm. And you can get paid well and provide a lasting transformation to your clients. So I want to encourage you to turn off any other distractions, Facebook, anything else going on, and just be present with us on this call today. And that's another reason why we went the extra mile to create this workbook, which we didn't have to do. <laughs> But we really wanted to do that so that you guys could even apply this information, really absorb it, and work through some of your own challenges so that you can get the most out of this, um, this webinar. And so if you didn't, like I said, if you didn't get a copy of that um, workbook emailed to you about 20 minutes ago, then what you can do is send us an email to getpurevitality at gmail.com, and we will send that out to you later on. So let me go ahead and get the slide moving here. So you are in the right place if you're with us today and you want to become a holistic practitioner, but maybe you don't even have any training, you've thought about getting into this field and you really kind of don't know where to start. Maybe you looked at some other curriculums, you looked at our curriculum maybe, and you're just still kind of stuck in your nine to five job, but you really do want to do this for a living. Or maybe you've already had certification and other training, and you're already working with clients, but you're not getting the results you're looking for, and you kind of still feel like your business has not really taken off, and you're still feeling stuck. You are in the right place. Absolutely. This training that we're going to give you is an overview of how to make a living as a holistic practitioner, and it's going to show you the three pillars that you need to focus on, as well as just different business models that you can do. So before we uh, dive in, let's just take a minute and get really honest and vulnerable with ourselves. This, this material is really only going to help you if you're willing to put the work in. I say that to our clients, and so I say that to our students and to you now. If you don't take the right steps forward consistently, you're not going to get anywhere. It takes determination and consistency to be successful, no matter what area you're working in, whether it's your, you know, your lifestyle, your diet, your whatever, or your business. It's, it's super easy to get discouraged when we don't see the results that we're looking for really fast, right? This is an instant gratification world. So in this training, you're going to learn some of the psychological blocks that could be holding you back, as well as the practical things that could be holding you back as well. Now, we've talked to 
oh gosh, hundreds of practitioners and people who want to become practitioners. And of those people who are not successful at it, there's three things that we see them struggling with the most. Um, the first one is that they don't feel confident enough. Now, this can be for a lot of different reasons. They may be getting good results with their clients, and this makes them, may not be getting good results with their clients, and this makes them kind of doubt their ability or their skills as a practitioner, or they may have their own health problems, right? And it makes them feel unqualified to help others. I've so been there. Like, after all, like, how can I help somebody else if I'm still struggling with my health? You know, like, why should they listen to me? Or, or may, they may not just have other people like mentors who can, they can kind of have a powwow with, confer with, and get help when they need it. So even a fear of failure stops people dead in their tracks and keeps them from even sometimes beginning the process to even chasing that dream, right? They just, they freeze. So the second is feeling overwhelmed. Now, <laughs> we, let's face it, there is a ton of health information out there now, but there's there's not a shortage of great information that can be found. I mean, after all, we live in the age of Google, right? Because of that, it's super easy to go into overwhelm and to know, and to try to know exactly what's going to work best or how to apply that information in a um, systematic way. And this can keep you really stuck and just kind of spinning your wheels. Um, number three is not having a step-by-step -step plan to follow. Um, do you ever feel like you're kind of reinventing the wheel with every new client that you work with or you're just sort of like in repeat, you know, or maybe you're still looking at all the schools out there and you haven't decided to take the leap yet and there doesn't seem to be like a clear roadmap on how to become a holistic practitioner, right? Because there's billions of certifications out there. Like you can get certified to help somebody with better nutrition, but how do you know how to run a practice, right? Like how do you know how to get clients? How do you know what sort of investment it's going to take to start your own business? And you see that you can get trained as a health coach or practitioner, but there always seems to be kind of like missing pieces, and a lot of schools just don't give you all of them. They'll give you just pieces of that, and that makes it really, really challenging to kind of move forward. So we found that when you know what to do and when you're confident helping clients get well, and when you have a step-by-step -step plan to follow, it's so much easier. It's so much easier to be successful. And that's when you can do what you want to do full time and get paid well for it. You can see clients getting great results. And so how do we know that? Well, I want to share um, our story briefly because we've done this ourselves and that's why we got into this. And so I know a few of you guys already know our story, but I'm just going to take a minute and kind of give you the brief overview. But it all started with me about 10 years ago and I was actually recovering from my own health crisis. And I ended up learning that this practitioner who got me well when I was so sick with Lyme disease, mold exposure, chemical sensitivity, she knew how to handle really tough cases. And I actually apprenticed with her and also got, went ahead and got my certification while I was still recovering. And I thought I was going to be working with her in her practice, but it turned out that I ended up starting my own practice out of my house, which that's what you see in the picture here, my little log house. In the woods and that was my little one room office in our house and so it's one thing when you are working with another practitioner and so when I started out on my own it was a whole different thing to actually be responsible now on my own for seeing clients for getting them results and I felt like I'd already learned so much I'd already apprenticed with this woman got my certification but I still still felt like I didn't know enough and I didn't have confidence of course because I hadn't worked with anyone yet and you don't get confidence, you know, until you start getting some more experience under your belt. And even worse, I actually was still not 100% well myself, even though I would recovered, you know, at least about 60 to 70%, I was still dealing with some health issues. And so I had this deep fear coming up. Well, how can I help other people if I'm not 100% well yet? If I'm not the picture of health, you know, because I mean, I kind of felt like a little bit of a fraud where I was trying to tell somebody else what to do and I was still kind of struggling. But underneath all of that, I really knew that God had called me to this as a calling. And so I just had to persevere through those things and keep trusting him in spite of those fears that were like in the back of my head. And so what happened is as I focused on helping other people, my health keep, kept on improving. And then after spending a few years initially just struggling and trial and error and different things, 
you know, working with clients and different health issues and just seeing what worked, seeing what didn't work, I finally found more of, you know, the, the actual issues that were underlying their health issues and was able to identify the root cause with them much quicker. I got a breakthrough that helped me transform my business into having those great client success stories and to having the confidence that I needed because I learned how to get healing um, protocols that got really great re results clinically. And so as these people were kept coming to me here in the woods in my house, <laughs> um, I ended up creating a buzz in my local community. I mean, we live in um, suburbs on the west side of Atlanta, and it's not a real health conscious community. Honestly, it's nothing like California and some of these other places. But, you know, when you, when you start to get the word out and people start getting great results and they start telling their friends, it started really creating this buzz. And I ended up getting a call one day from a lady named Marie and mm -hmm. and she called me because of what other people that she knew in her church and her community were saying about me and how they are feeling so much better now. And she heard that I was a holistic practitioner. And so she called me up and she said, I'm willing to sweep your floors. If you'll just let me follow you around and learn what you know. And little did I know that was going to change <laughs> both of our lives in a significant way. Mm -hmm. And so here she is in my little log house, and she actually went to nutrition school. She went to IIN, and um, while she was also learning some other things through what I was teaching her, and so she also came with her own skill sets. She's extremely gifted in working with people on the emotional side of health. And so while I was like the health detective and helpful at figuring out like the physiological problems with someone, he was really good at helping go to the straight to the heart of what was dealing, what they were dealing with emotionally and keeping them stuck. And so, because I was, I didn't realize how important the emotional piece was. So when we combined both of those things in our, our wellness center, our office, working with clients, it enabled us to get even better results because the emotional component is just as much of a piece of, you know, what holds people back as the physiological stuff. And so, once we put these things together, we started having, you know, great, even greater results with our clients. And then it started taking over my house to the point where like her office became, you know, in my living room, you know, this business was taking over my house because we had a steady stream of people coming to us and literally we were doing no advertising. It was just word of mouth. People were getting results. They were telling their friends, the business was growing organically. And as it grew, and grew, we ended up having to move it into a commercial location in our city and then um, having to hire other practitioners. We were able to have more space. So we put in more sauna detoxification um, areas. We have a rife machine. We do medical ozone. We have a large room for classes. It's enabled us to have a full team of people that work together to enable our clients to get great results. Absolutely. And so much, so much has changed since then. I love seeing those old pictures, <laughs> Becky, it brought back super memories. Oh, yeah. um, but people like, they started to, to ask us, like, how do we do what you're doing? You know, because the buzz got beyond just, you know, bringing clients to us without advertising. It was starting to bring people who had a, had a similar calling to us. And so before long, um, we realized that between us both, like we knew that we had all the kind of puzzle pieces that somebody would need to get a client well and help them achieve lasting uh, transformation. But we also realized at that same time, like we couldn't possibly teach individually every practitioner who was coming to us. And so that's when we came up with the brilliant idea to create the Pure Vitality Practitioner Course. And over the next few years, we have gotten to help people from all sorts of backgrounds to be able to apply the information in the course and go on to create thriving practices. So, so many of our graduates who started off with no business, or even some, in some cases, failing businesses with no clients have been able to get paying clients in the first six to nine months of just completing the program. And so we've been watching them just make a great living, doing what they love, changing the communities that they're in. And we just, we want anybody to be able to do that that has this calling. Yeah, absolutely. And when you work in this industry, there are definitely a few different options and different ways you can go. And that's what we're going to dive into in just a minute. And I want to also remind you, though, that, you know, this is a business. And I know a lot of people get into holistic health as a hobby. And I certainly did, you know, years ago. They may sell essential oils or 
teach cooking classes at their house or, you know, teach fitness classes. But the difference is, you know, a hobby is different than a business. And with a hobby, you don't really expect to make a lot of money. It's more for fun, done on the side. But having a business means that you make it a priority and you take it a lot more seriously and you invest in it so that down the road it can actually be something that brings in a lot more money. So that being said, um, the first thing that we want you to do is if you've got your workbooks in front of you, I want you to turn to page two of your workbook and answer these questions. The first one is, what do you want? You know, you need to think about what you are most passionate about in holistic health. You know, like, what do you want to do? If you could have anything you wanted, what would your ideal life look like? You know, you cannot get anywhere you want to go without a clear goal. So to get there, the first step is just deciding, you know, what it is that you want. If you had a magic wand and you could wave it over your situation, what exactly would that look like? So you can make notes as we go through this training today, because when you look at all the options available to work in this industry, there's three main things that come to mind as far as business models go. I mean, there's, there's variables off of these three, you know, infinitely, but just three basic foundational different business models that you can go in. So uh, we're going to go over these now, um, and you're going to get more clarity on what you want and what works for you, and we're, we're hoping this will help you answer those questions. So the first one is where I started, and that is a home-based business. And this is actually a really great option to start out with, especially when you're new, because the initial investment is extremely low. And it also allows you to see if this is something that you want to continue with at very little risk. So, you know, obviously you'll have to invest in your education certification but you don't have the extra expenses of overhead and furnishings and lots of equipment and lots of staff. So it's nice because you can actually work with clients by phone. There's so much now you can do. You don't even have to see clients in person. I mean, there's, that's the cool thing, especially with the internet and the way that things are done online now. You can actually offer nutritional programs where you advise people on food and nutrition. You can even recommend certain supplements and also work with emotional coaching as well. Now, obviously, you may not be able to see people in person, depends on your location, of course, and you definitely can't offer a lot of different modalities, but for most people, I mean, when you're starting out, just changing people's diets, getting them on some really good basic nutritional support, and then offering emotional coaching, that alone can totally change somebody's health around. So, I mean, that makes a huge difference. So, we want to go over like what you would need to get started in this kind of setup. Obviously, you have to have some form of education credentials. And the biggest thing is a nice website because that's going to be the way that most people are going to interact with you. So having a very clear website that tells people what you're all about, what you do, how they work with you, your services. These are really keys that you'll need to be um, looking into. And then the basics of having a business license. This is simple stuff that any business in your actual county will have to have. It's not very expensive. And then bookkeeping software. You'll have to keep track of you know, money you make, work with taxes and all that stuff. Any, any business is going to have that issue. And then when you do this model, you'll have to have a scheduling system. And because you don't have like a front desk and staff, the easiest thing to do, and this is what I did initially, is have an online scheduling thing where people can go to your website, they can actually book their own appointments, which in this day and age, it's wonderful because everybody's busy and everybody's used to doing stuff online. So for them to just click a button on your website, pick a day and time, set up their own, you know, whatever appointment they want, that is amazing. And there's different scheduling systems out there. They're super easy to use. And then if you do want to, if you get busy enough where you can't even answer your phone anymore, um, you can hire either an answering service or have a virtual assistant. They can also provide um, all kinds of different things. They can help you with your website. They can write blog posts for you. They can post on social media. They can help you on many different levels. So this model is something that you can get started with, with just like, I mean, like I said, this is super inexpensive, a few thousand dollars. Because your overhead is so low, your expenses can be super low, then it's going to be more profitable more quickly with this model. And you don't even have to carry supplements and inventory. 
even supplement companies nowadays, I mean, like I said, everything's going online. So many, so many companies are doing that, that they can have um, a little portal that you can set up on their website that's basically like an online store for your business. And a lot of different practitioner grade supplement lines offer this. And so your client can just be sent a link, say here, you know, these are the supplements I'm recommending. They can go on there and purchase them. And then you would get a percentage of those sales. So, but you don't have to carry them in inventory and deal with the hassle of all of that. So it's a great way to start. Absolutely. You save so much on shipping and things like that on the front end doing it that way. So the next model is to share space with an existing uh, practitioner or wellness center. And this can look so different depending on kind of what you're looking for. You can partner with any number of holistic practitioners, chiropractors, acupuncturists, massage therapists, naturopath, health coach. I mean, pretty much any with anybody. And, and in this situation, you can either rent a room or there can be like a split fee arrangement where you split a percentage of everything that you make with that existing entity, with that business. And this is nice because they provide front desk staff already, you know, who are going to be answering calls, booking your appointments, and even um, handling payments um, and possibly even supplement sales for you. They can also provide marketing that you can kind of latch yourself to and, and space to hold classes or events. You can complement what the other practitioners in the office are doing and also refer each other clients back and forth. Um, because they already have an existing mi uh, business, that means they already have an existing clientele. So you can get clients easier right away and kind of build that business faster. Um, they may also have other modalities that you can use for your clients. And then maybe they have a sauna, maybe, maybe they have a Rife machine, you know, it can be anything. And the invis investment for this model, well, what's needed for this, obviously, is you're gonna have still your education and credentials are important. You can have a personal website, but you also might can have profiles on their existing website, which is pretty, you know, exciting. Um, still want to have your business license and bookkeeping software just for your own self to keep track of your taxes and expenditures and things like that. Um, but equipment can be optional at this point because you're doing things in an existing business. You may want to offer specific types of services in person and that can include sauna. It can include, um, investing in some sort of bioenergetic testing equipment. Um, it might even include getting a small supplement inventory at that point. Um, and the investment for this model is a little more than a home-based business, but overall it's still very doable and very low risk. At the most, you may sign like a year-long contract with this existing business so that you're able to change directions if it doesn't work out for you for some reason. But it's a good way to ease yourself into it, get to know the community that you're in, and partner with other holistic practitioners because whether you're doing things on your own or not, that's going to be a tremendous benefit for you is to go ahead and be connected to people who are already in similar fields as you and who already may have an existing clientele built up. Absolutely, yeah. This is a great way to start if you're new and don't have a home situation where you want to, I mean, bringing your business in your home has its definitely pros and cons, so I don't recommend it for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> so the third one is to have an actual wellness center, and this is where you can start a wellness center or you can kind of collaborate with some other practitioners and go in together and do a wellness center model. And this is a definitely more of a higher end, higher risk, higher investment option the advantage is, is that you own it. You know, you can run it. You have more freedom. You have more control. The potential for profit is higher. You can uh, have people that manage it for you. So you don't have to do the daily day, daily, you know, stuff every day, every day. You can be the practitioner or you can have people that you just pay to run this for you. So you obviously have to have staff to manage, you know, the front desk. Um, you know, right now we have three different part-time people that run our front desk and that way we have, you know, they kind of share the responsibilities. We have them help in with inventory. They handle scheduling, they handle client calls and that way they can also book appointments and handle, there's, there's a lot more than you think involved in this. And so in this situation, the front desk staff are actually paid hourly as employees while the practitioners that also partner and work out of that same wellness center, they can either be paid, like I said, via renting a room or a split fee arrangement as subcontractors. And the split fee means that if a client comes in for like a health evaluation 
or another service and they pay like $150 for that appointment, then with a split fee of like 50-50, then the, the practitioner would get $75 and the clinic would get $75. And so you can do, I mean, there's different, you can do a 60-40 split. There's definitely different ways you can go about that. That's typically what's is the standard. And there's obviously a much higher investment in this because either you are renting a uh, facility or you are of, you um, obviously can buy one, you know, a building to utilize, but then you have to furnish it. There's furnishings, there's equipment, you know, if you have a sauna, there's all sorts of things. You know, we have a sauna we had to buy all the towels for, we have massage tables, you have waiting room furniture, you know, we have a DVD player. I mean, there's just a lot. <laughs> so. You know, but the nice thing is that, you know, this can be great for certain people. Just realize you have to have a lot more business skills because you're going to have to be managing all these people. Front desk, multiple practitioners. So you really need an office manager as well. And so, but the nice thing is you can offer so much more um, different modalities. So people can come in there and utilize different, you know, equipment, different machines, different practitioners. You could be like wellness under one roof, so you can really fit all the needs in your local community, which that's really kind of what I wanted to do, so that's why we ended up in this direction. And because I saw the value of having a sauna, I saw the value of doing ozone, having a rife machine, having things that uh, clients could utilize that could allow them to get better results than just supplements alone and food. So obviously these things cost money, but, um, you know, it's, it's like I said, you can build up to this, is which, which is kind of what we did, you know, but you can expect to get started with this kind of model anywhere from 25000 to 50000 and up. So it's not super cheap. And, um, you know, $50,000 would be pretty reasonable for having all that equipment that I just talked about, you know, the testing devices, the sauna, the ozone, as well as the furnishings for a decent sized space. And obviously, you could also have a small space. We have a pretty big space, so it could be less than that. So I want you to really think about, you know, where you are, what works for where you are in this moment. And, you know, these are just three different options, and you can have, like I said, variations on these. But these are the three typical models that we see when practitioners are starting out or growing their business, um, things that work really well. So looking at these different options, you can think about, what you want to move towards. So I want you to write those ideas in that workbook that we provided you, kind of basing it on these different thoughts, like what sounds like it would be a good fit for you. And keep in mind, nothing has to stay kind of permanent, because I mean, as you've heard in our story, we evolved from one type to another um, within those business models. And so you can do the same. Where you begin doesn't necessarily mean where you'll end. So if your goal is to have a wellness center, don't think that that has to be where you go right out the gate, right? Like that doesn't have to be it. You can build your way to something like that. And that's exactly what we did. And so I really want to kind of share some things about when I started out because I'd already spent thousands of dollars on my health with doctor's visits, with all the different supplements and seeing different things, different practitioners. And so when I got into this, I was still recovering. And so I didn't have a lot of money to invest in my business. But because I knew that God had called me to this, it, it was like such a high passion that I didn't let fear be my main uh, determining factor that kept me stuck. I realized if this was my calling, then things would work out. And I just had to believe that. So I had to get a little creative. And so I want to share some of those things that I did because I think it helps you help, you know, get to think outside the box and realize that there are multiple ways to do this. And so I started out out of my house to save money on overhead by converting one of the rooms in our downstairs um, house into my office. And then I just, like I said, put up a bookcase for supplements. I bought a desk and two chairs. And that's about all I had in that one room. And I worked with one client at a time. And because I saw the value in bioenergetic testing, I re mm -hmm. that's one of the things that got me well. And I really saw that that was a key component to making my success um, being able to identify the root cause with people and those can be kind of pricey so I mean they're new they're around twelve thousand dollars so I was like okay how else can I do this <laughs> so I actually found one that was used from another practitioner about half the price so 
Um, and even that was a stretch, honestly. And I didn't want to just put it on a credit card. So what I did was I actually went to a family member and I got a small loan to cover that because I knew that I'd be able to pay that back within about a year or so if things went according to plan. And I started seeing clients and helping them. And so because we were living off of my husband's income at the time, you know, that took some pressure off of me. So we didn't have to, you know, live off of what I was making to survive. And so I ended up finding ways to get my business up and running with extremely little cost. And I found a way to get a website for like next to nothing by bartering with a web designer. And I gave her health evaluations, you know, because I had more, more time than I had money. So that was a really great way for me to do that. And then because I wanted clients to be able to walk out with supplements in hand, I actually bought you know, I set up an account with some wholesale supplement companies and got about, you know, two to three hundred dollars worth of supplements, real basic stuff, some B complex, multivitamins, probiotics, digestive enzymes, you know, stuff to support the liver. I didn't get much, but it was enough. And then as I made money selling those supplements, I reinvested that money so that I could expand my inventory slowly over time. So part of the money that I made in that first year, I actually invested it back into my business because I knew that I needed a sauna and I wanted to get some ozone equipment. And so after about a year, I was able to buy those additional pieces of equipment. And so I saw that the money that I initially made as profit was actually seed money for my business. And I knew that if I used my seed to live on, if I just consumed that seed, I wouldn't have any money to help my business grow. And with a baby business, that's really what you need to do is in the first year or so, I made a point to take that profit, put it back into my business to keep growing it. And this is really important because if you pull money out too soon in a brand new business, it's not going to be able to make it in the long run. You have to nurture it, you have to let it grow to the point where you they can afford to take money out of it. And another thing that I did was rather than paying for marketing and advertising, I did free health evaluations. And I did it for key people in my community and in my local church that I knew would benefit from it. I knew I could help them. And then when they got great results, they became a walking advertisement for me in the community. They were the ones that went out there and told all their friends and people that they knew. And so I also taught free classes to educate people on alternative medicine to also gain vis visibility. These things didn't cost me anything. All they cost me was my time but they yielded me thousands of dollars worth of new clients in the long run. And those few people in the beginning that I did that for, they actually ended up being the ones that, that built my business, literally built my business for me because they got such great results. They, they ended up being those key people that ended up bringing in so many more people. And so on the next, um, on the next few pages of your workbook, I have some blanks that you can fill in. And you'll see that it says there, you know, these are some things that I'm just covering right now, but I just, I'm doing this to give you some ideas on how you can grow your business and you can get into this industry without feeling like you need, you know, $20,000. Okay. It does not take that. So the first thing is though, you do need to prepare to invest. So the first blank is the word invest. You need to prepare to invest when you're first starting out. This is not a hobby, it's a business, and you need to treat it that way. So even if it's just a few thousand dollars, I mean, your education, you know, is probably going to cost a few thousand dollars. You know, that's important to invest something. And you also do not want to eat your seed. So when you start making money, you don't want to take that money and just live off of it right away. You want to reinvest it back into your business so that it can get some momentum and get off the ground. Then you'll be able to have the profit coming in down the road. And with me, you know, I was brand new. I didn't have a lot of resources. I didn't have the kind of training that I, I had to go to different schools to get what I needed to know. And I ended up, you know, wasting money here and there. I ended up buying equipment I didn't need. And so I made some mistakes starting out. And so I learned a lot by trial and error. And so that's what, one reason why we created the course is because I didn't want other people to have to go through what I had to go through. And I wanted to shorten people's learning curve. And so when we watch our students apply this information, they get results way faster than I did. So it really does pay to learn from some, somebody else who's done the work ahead of you and can save you time and money on that. So, um, so yeah, that, that makes a huge difference right there. Shortcuts, man. We all need them. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
So the next sentence in your workbook is be resourceful. Never let anything hold you back from your dreams. If this is meant to be your calling, you will find a way to make it happen. I mean, just like I did, just like Becky did. You have to think outside the box sometimes when you're starting from scratch. You can start with a loan from a family member or friend. Some students took the course to save money on medical expenses because they got well from what they learned in the course. Mm -hmm. That's huge, 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 guys. You can buy equipment that is used when you're first starting out. Becky did that. You know, she got a piece, her first piece of equipment was half the price of the brand new one because she got a used piece of equipment from an existing practitioner. Um, so learn from others who are already doing successful things. They're, they're successfully completing the same kind of things that you want to do. If you don't have much money to invest, then you will need to invest your time to generate clients and income, right? And it looks like this, doing free health evaluations to get exposure, create momentum, and there's lots of places to do this. Um, teach free classes in your community. Connect with churches, with libraries, with any places that you can use open spaces to just volunteer and teach classes. Um, write articles and post online in various places. And, and at the end, invite people who, to have just a free 15-minute you know, consult with you, just a conversation, so that you can invite them into working with you from that point. Um, do these free calls every week, and I promise you, your schedule will fill up with paying clients. That is a fact. We have proven that one time and time again. Free classes are really what our business was built on there in the beginning, and these kind of calls and things. Um, get to know other practitioners nearby and refer clients back and forth. We're partnered in our community with local chiropractors and even local restaurants who serve healthy things so that we can refer our clients to them and they can, when they run into somebody that needs help, can, they can re be referred to us. These are huge things to get a business off the ground and really take it to the next level. And if you're just getting started, these are things to really keep in mind. So now that you have an idea of what you want, I want you to think about what is holding you back? What's stopping you from getting there? On the next page in your workbook, I want you to answer the question about what's stopping you. So for many of us, we have these dreams, but they stay dreams, right? Because we don't go through the steps to make those dreams a reality. Remember fight or flight? Well, some people freeze, right? That's, a, that's, a, that's the third unspoken one that a lot of people deal with. And they just feel stuck and they don't do anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a real problem. So I love this quote that says that a dream written down with a date becomes a goal. A goal broken down into steps becomes a plan. And a plan backed by action makes your dreams come um, true. Mm -hmm. This sounds super simple and it, you know, but it actually works. And this is how it works. It's like so. I just, I want to encourage you guys because, you know, we are at an advantage, Marie and I, because we see how easy it is to take people through the steps in our program and watch them succeed. We've seen that just some determination, some follow through with the right information and the right mentors makes all the difference in the world. And because we see how easy it is, we're not content just to sit by and let your dreams go by the wayside because we want to keep these things a secret or only share them with our students. We are, like I said, our mission is to help get this world in a better place and deal with this huge health epidemic. And so because we know how valuable this information is and how much we know it can change your life, we are so passionate about sharing this with you today. Yeah. Uh, of all the reasons that we hear for people not kind of taking that leap into starting to work as a holistic practitioner, or even starting towards taking the steps to become a holistic practitioner, one of the most uh, common kind of holdbacks is, I don't have the money. So if you wrote that down, or if you're thinking of writing that down as one of the challenges that's stopping you, I want you to, to really think about that and dive into that, because there's usually another deeper reason underneath that one. And I know that, that you're think, you might be thinking, well, that's easy for you to say, Marie, you don't know my situation. But I knew what mine was when I started this. And I could have easily used that excuse not to pursue my dream, but I didn't let it stop me. I was a, I was a single mom 
at the time that I was thinking about going into this, and I was coming from a very poverty stricken mindset and place at that time. Um, and so I, I borrowed the money that I needed for my training from my dad at that time and was able to find a way. And I knew that I was, if I was just able to get the training, I knew I could make the money back and I could go on to do even more with that training. And because I believed that, that's exactly what happened. So when we talked about not feeling confident, sometimes that comes from just not believing that you can do what it takes to get the results you're looking for. So maybe you have a deeper fear of failure. Um, most of most thoughts of failure, though, I want to point out, come from self judgment, right? It's the idea that like I'm not enough. And I want you to just, I want you to take a moment, and I want you to think about where you might have come up with that thought. You know, was it? Did it? How long ago did you start thinking that? Like, was it a parent? who said that you would never amount to anything? Was it a teacher that didn't believe in you? You know, we, we all have that kind of critical inner voice, but nine times out of 10 in my experience in coaching clients is I've learned that it started out as somebody else's voice first, right? This is one of those things that I explore when I'm coaching with people because it's a lie. It's a lie that that person is believing about themselves and when they realize it doesn't have to be their truth anymore, it is a game changer and I have seen my clients get free from this and then they're no longer letting those limiting beliefs hold them back and so not only can letting go of that like help you but it's it's gonna be a, a game changer for you to change everything in your life not just in your career but your relationships in everything this is one of those things that you you deserve and you owe it to yourself to dive into and to explore to find out is that really my voice or is that somebody else's voice that's been echoing for so long because mm -hmm. if it wasn't some part of you that thought you could do this you wouldn't be here listening to this webinar today absolutely so the next page in your workbook is that now that we've talked about you know some different options with different business models where you want to go you know it's important to know you know also what's holding you back which we've kind of discussed a little bit but the next question is well what do you need to do to get there and so what are those steps? So there is a space in your workbook where I want you to answer the questions on what's holding you back. And it's, you know, what is that fear? What is coming up for you? What is going on that's keeping you stuck? Because those are the kind of things, like Marie was saying, that, you know, we have those voices in our head that, you know, that they become our voice. And those are the things that can keep us stuck and can keep us from taking action. And I could have easily, easily said oh well, I'm not healthy enough oh well I don't have the money because I didn't have the money I mean, yeah yeah but you when you are called to this when you are passionate about this like I said you make it work you find a way <laughs> I knew that this was my calling so so I want you to take some time to do that and then that's going to help you get breakthroughs in your own area whatever it is is keeping you stuck because we all have different things right so what we're going to talk about is what success looks like and like we mentioned you need a roadmap you need a plan what is this what are we going for here because you need to know like how this works and so it looks like having clients that you can work with that you're able to get good results maybe they came to you that's the client coming to your little house there or your office or whatever it happens to be they come to you with pain or digestive problems or insomnia or anxiety and you've been able to help them once they work with you get pain free and now they're sleeping and their, their digestive issues are gone and they're actually able to not have anxiety oh my goodness like that's huge and what you've done is you've altered the, the the way that they live their life so now they can be more physically active they can have more energy they can pursue what they want to pursue and not have to worry about health every single moment of every day and I mean that changes someone that's you're literally changing their whole experience in life they actually start loving life again I mean what is that worth you gave them their life back so what happens is once that person's worked with you and they feel better of course they're gonna go out and tell all their friends of course they're gonna share the word I mean, people are gonna notice them they're gonna say oh my gosh like you've lost weight or you look so much better you know what are you doing why do you look so good and of course they're gonna talk about you so then those people that they talk to, they're going to call you up and make it a point, make appointments if they're at all open to natural health. 
And so you're going to get them great results. And then they're not actually going to tell all their friends. And so you can see how this little diagram, I mean, I didn't play it all out, but it's going to have exponential growth without you having to do a lot of advertising and marketing. So by having a few key things in place in your practice, you're going to have natural organic growth by word of mouth referrals. And that's the key. Word of mouth is your best advertising because that gets your great results, get happy clients. They get word of mouth referrals going for you. They're your little walking advertisement. And that equates to a thriving practice with more than enough clients without you having to go out there and drum up a lot of business. I mean, obviously, initially, you'll have to get some exposure. But once you start working with people, it's like this snowball effect. And you build momentum and more momentum and more momentum. And before you know it, you don't have to do any paid advertising. The clients just come to you. That is so true. We've not really done advertising for the Wellness Center, which has been amazing. And now that's not to say that we haven't shared when we have free classes or free calls and done that and shared it in social media platforms. But we've never had to spend money on advertising for the Wellness Center because that format works. Right, so the recipe for a successful practice that enables you to make a living doing what you love looks like this. One, confidence in yourself. Two, great and consistent clinical results. And three, an effective business model. And these are the three real pillars that it takes to be able to make a living as a holistic practitioner. And we're gonna take you through each of these into more detail. Mm-hmm. So, and this is what we've done and what we've seen work, and we've seen it work consistently even for our students. And so we're going to share some of our student stories with you in just a minute, but um, I want to keep going here because we need to cover these. Um, and the first one is confidence in yourself. Yes. Many people in this industry do not start out confident. So the truth is, is that so many people in this field are starting out sick and scared right? That was Becky's story. Um, that was so many people who I talked to who are in this industry and so many of our students' story. This business is a calling. And for so many of us, it was our own illness or the illness of somebody that we love that led us down this path. So maybe you battled something that doctors didn't have a solution for or any answers, or maybe you had to fight and find the answers for yourself or someone that you love. And so you made it through on your own, but can you really do that for somebody else now, right? Like that's the question you'd be asking yourself. Or maybe you're the person that everybody already comes to for health answers because they know that you've been on that journey. They know how hard you've worked and the hell that you've been through. And so now you're wondering, can I turn this into a career? You know, either way, it's all going to start with your mindset. Think about it like this. If you have two people in the hospital who have just been told that they are never, ever going to walk again, one of them starts to pick out their wheelchair, and the other one says, oh, yeah, watch me. Who do you think is going to be the first one to take steps one day? The one who decided, the one who simply believed that they will, right? There's a quote that whether believe, you believe you can or you can't, you're going to be right. This is what it takes to really commit to this journey and make it as a holistic practitioner. You'll win at whatever the game you're playing in your mind. If you see things as a failure before you ever begin, then you will fail. But the flip side is that if you decide that you will be a success and that you're called to help people and you're going to do that no matter what, then nothing, 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 nothing will get in the way and stop you. Mm -hmm. And another secret to having confidence um, is having a mentor. And this is somebody that I had when I was first starting out because, you know, the practitioner that got me well, she was somebody I trained under and I was able to ask her questions, watch how she did things. I learned so much more from her than I learned in any other school that I went to. You know, she was already seeing the sickest of the sick get well, people with cancer, heart disease, um, chemical sensitivity. And so I learned from her what it takes to really heal someone at those significant health challenges. And so you really, it's, it's so it takes the burden off of you. I mean, a mentoring allows you to get on the fast track with your business. It's giving you the support where you don't feel like you're doing it alone. You have someone to call when you get stuck with a client that you don't know what to do or just having another business question. And so I know that I would have never felt confident as a practitioner without a mentor. And so it was her detox program that got me better. And so when I apprenticed with her, it was amazing what all I learned. And so when I started my own business out of my house, 
knowing that she had my back gave me that like reassurance, confidence, just security even that I knew that I could go after my dream because I wasn't doing it alone and I had help. I could call her whenever I had questions that came up. So a great mentor is going to save you so much time and energy because you don't have to reinvent the wheel. Somebody else has already paved the way. They've already developed some protocols that are obviously working and you can learn from them, take advantage of that. So you don't make like beginner mistakes and you don't have to be the lone ranger in this and try to figure it all out on your own the hard way. And so when you do this, it helps compress your timeline so that you get actually get on the fast track quicker, save you time, money, and frustration so you can get results faster and make more money in your business quicker. That's absolutely true. Because Becky, you were my mentor when we first got started. And that was the beginning for both of us to kind of launch us, to catapult us both into a direction that would have taken us a lot farther, that took us a lot farther than if we had been doing it on our own. So mm -hmm. it really does matter. So the next pillar is great clinical results. Now, we've already talked about this one, so I won't go into this in great detail, but it should be obvious that you need to know how to help people take back their health naturally. You need to help them get well. But I think that many schools and programs out there are not, they're either not providing up-to-date information on what it takes to heal those kind of conditions that we're seeing today, um, or they only have parts of it, right? Like most schools will cover like food and nutrition, which is great, but then they, they fail to take in consideration of what it needs to detoxify the body or to handle chronic infections, mold exposure, like Lyme disease, and, and so many other serious things that we're seeing become so much more common. And the, the truth is when you know exactly what to do, when somebody you know has mold exposure and you're able to turn their health around, and that gives you more confidence, and then your confidence causes you to work with more ease and less stress, it just becomes easier having effective protocols to get those kind of results. It's, it's just huge. So I want to share a, a, a story of a graduate. Um, she's one of our students from France. Her name is Sophie. And she actually had already spent six figures on her naturopathic education in Paris. And she started working out of her house. And she was not really confident because she didn't have any kind of ongoing mentorship or people that she could talk to with her previous education. As she says, she was struggling to find clients and the ones that she saw were really challenging cases and she didn't, she didn't know what to do with them. She didn't know how to find the root cause. And so because they weren't getting great results, they weren't coming back. Mm. So she was actually really struggling and was about to even change careers looking for a new job when she was uh, redesigning her logo, actually. It's kind of interesting <laughs> how she found us. She was looking at logo designs on a Google image search and our logo popped up and she clicked on it, which took her to Pure Vitality University's website. And so when she saw what we did, she was like, oh my gosh, like that could really help me. <laughs> and so she went through our course because she needed more protocols. She needed some mentorship. She needed the confidence to know what to do with these people. And so within like a year of completing the program, she actually has a full client schedule now and even opened up a wellness center about an hour um, east of her in a bigger city in um, France where she's able to partner with some other practitioners, like seven practitioners, and she owns the whole facility now. And she's getting great results even with challenging cases. So, mm -hmm. I mean, you can spend a ton of money and still not get what you need. I mean, that's the sad part, which yeah. I was blown away by her story. So... It's important to have, you know, the, the knowledge and the protocols that are actually going to get results now. So the next pillar is to have an effective business model. And this is important because you need to make sure you're actually making money doing what you love. And we covered the different business models and you can kind of see what works for you. But another thing we want to add to this is that successful practitioners, they don't undercharge for their services. And I think a lot of people, when they first get into this, they, they feel so bad for people that they've you know, spent all that money on their health and still not getting results. They want to undercharge them. They want to do stuff for like $50 and $75. Well, that's not going to allow you to actually build a business that is sustainable. And so one of the things that we found that really helps is to offer programs or memberships rather than single appointments. You know, because we know that alternative medicine, it takes time. It takes more than one appointment for people to get well, 
right? But so many people are used to the typical medical model where they make a single appointment and they come in when they're like sick and dying at death's door and they expect us to do some miraculous thing in one appointment. I'm like, are you serious? <laughs> that's a little bit unrealistic, but that's just what they're used to because that's how modern medicine has taught them that that's how it works. But that's not how alternative medicine works. And so we have to educate our clients and educate people on how that we work with people. And so by creating programs, this gives you the ability to take a series of appointments and then you can include other services, you can include educational materials, you can even include supplements along with it. And you put them together like in a package that you then offer your clients to get a specific result. To get a specific outcome. And so like if you know it's going to take three months to get somebody some significant results on, you know, whatever it is they come to you with, fatigue, insomnia, and joint pain, you know, then you know that you can have a program put together that's going to be able to get them better results than trying to squeeze all those things into a, a single appointment model. Absolutely. Uh, the truth is, if you're still seeing clients by a single appointment, then and you don't have any kind of contract in place for follow-ups, you are shooting yourself in the foot as far as the results that you can get for them. Like, forget the, the money and the investment you know it takes time to heal the body and one visit's not enough. It took them a while to get into that place. It's going to take them a while to undo it. So if you find yourself frustrated that clients are not coming in regularly, they're not coming in for follow-up appointments or maybe they're not reordering supplements when they run out or they're not able to implement the dietary changes that you're recommending, it could be because you're operating from that single appointment model, which is not, it's ultimately not serving your clients in the long run. And I just want to mention too, Becky, you talking about the, the practitioners undercharging for their services, we found through our years of experiences that when someone invests money into their, your program, they're investing into their own health, they're taking part in that, and they will do the work. When you're, when you're undercharging your services or doing it for free, they often won't do the work and then they won't get the results. And that ultimately is going to hurt you in the long run. Mm-hmm. So a program is nice because it gives you the space, the time, and the support to really help your client achieve the level of transformation that you want them to achieve. You know, if you are able to help somebody that has rheumatoid arthritis go from walking with a cane to changing their life and being pain-free, oh my gosh, I mean, what is that worth to that person? So, I mean, if you can help a struggling mom who has insomnia and mood swings be able to sleep well again so she's able to have energy enjoy life again, enjoy her kids. I mean, what is that worth? You're not just doing, I mean, this is like life-changing stuff we're doing here. And so that's the real value of what you're doing in this business. Yeah, you're actually doing your clients a disservice when you're not including everything that they need to take back their health. So if you're afraid they won't be able to afford your program or that they're not, uh, won't commit to the work with you for three months, then you're projecting your own fears onto the client and you're ultimately going to be limiting the results that they could get from you. Whereas you could be educating them instead. And, and I'm sure that that's not certainly your intention. You know, you need to give yourself permission to charge what you're worth. And if you keep finding yourself undercharging, giving discounts, then your money mindset might be something that's challenging. You might be something for you to look at. Otherwise it's going to negatively affect your business. The truth is by offering these kind of programs, it becomes easier for you to provide your clients with the results that they're coming to you for and then make money doing what you love in the process. And the other cool thing is programs allow you to leverage your time because let's face it. I mean, the only thing that we don't have more of is time and you only have so much of it in a day. And so you can't spend five hours with a client telling them everything that they need to know I mean, that's obviously not going to work well. They can't afford to spend the kind of money that it would take on an hourly rate to afford that much of your time, right? But what if you could free up more of your time while also offering your clients more value? So what do I mean by that? Do you find yourself saying the same things over and over again to clients? You know, as obviously we do because there's so many basic things we need to cover. So those things that you tell almost every single client, you can automate that. So what do I mean by that? You can take, you know, the information that you're doing, you're saying, like if you're telling people like how to go gluten-free, 
explains them the problems of gluten and how it causes inflammation and all these things, then you can save time by putting all that information either in an ebook, you can put it into a video format, you can have a cookbook, all there's so many different options there. And you can give that to them at their appointment. So when you do say, okay, here you need to go gluten free, I want you to take this home and read it or watch this video then that's gonna save you time, but it's also gonna give them all the educational materials that they need to make that part of their uh, protocol. And that's just one example. You can do all kinds of things with this. Right, so when you find yourself, like she said, same, thing, same things over and over, automating it can look like a lot of different ways. You can write it down, it can be in a blog post, it can be in something that a handout, it can be in an audio recording, or even better, a video lesson. It could be emailed to them as a part of the program that you create. In our business, we created short video lessons to be a part of our 90-day program, and they receive um, one a week that walks them through how to change their diet, you know, one baby step at a time so that, because the other key is not to overwhelm them. If you try to download a bunch of stuff with people in one appointment, you're going to overwhelm them. They're going to walk out with their head spinning and not hardly get anything done. So this approach is so much more doable for people. Um, you don't you can't expect them to change everything overnight, right? But you can educate them by making small changes each week, each month. It's gonna add up, it's gonna accumulate into them making more sustainable changes. So some other things that you can include in your programs are you know, a free cookbook or menu plans, um, supplements, a workout plan, cooking classes, or any other bonuses as a part of your program. These things increase the value of the program, they provide education for the client, and they're essential for helping your client achieve those lasting results that you want them to have too, so that they become raving fans of yours. So this enables you to educate your clients without taking up all your appointment time to do so. So now that you can use, that way you can use that appointment time for going over very specific, customized protocol stuff. Mm -hmm. so. That's a huge time saver. Another reason, another reason why you should offer programs is because it's going to be more profitable for you in the long run because that means that that client is going to be coming back. They've signed a contract and they've either paid in full or they're paying by the month. So it's more like guaranteed income for you. And because you're adding more value to those services that you're doing, you can have a higher price point. And it's not that it's taking more of your time, but you're adding things to that program that add value that don't take time once you've created it initially. Obviously, it takes time to create them initially, but you know, you're know you giving that client so much more value in exchange for that higher price. And we've, like Marie said, when we found that clients invest at a higher level monetarily, they take it more seriously. They're literally more invested, and so they're more likely to do the work. And then because they have regular appointments, it keeps them accountable. So it's really a win-win for everyone because they need that person to hold them accountable. They need that additional support so that they can actually get the results they want. And so it's really ultimately enabling them to get better results, which is the bottom line, which we want you know, all of our clients to achieve. So I want to take a moment and share um, a story of one of our other students, Tammy. And it's really cool because, I mean, like we talked about, you know, there are ways to get into this industry to make a living as a holistic health practitioner that don't take a lot of money. And so when she went through our, actually I wanna back up a minute, she actually went through another nutrition program. And she was gonna be a nutritionist, but she found out when she actually was already in the program that she couldn't practice in her state in North Carolina. And so it also didn't give her any business training, so she was really stuck. She didn't know what she could do, she was kind of spinning her wheels, didn't have a plan, didn't have any, direction and they also didn't provide a way to find you know a root cause issue with someone or work them through a healing process so he was like you know I don't know what to do so she just prayed <laughs> and literally like that same day she ended up finding out about our school and then she realized she didn't have the money for the school either <laughs> so she prayed about it and just let it go and literally within that week she was offered a full-time position at a local post office that allowed her to enroll in our program. So we got to know Tammy and she's, she was already teaching some Zumba classes and just doing some really cool stuff, but she really wanted to be able to work with clients. And so she needed some more certification. So during our program, she learned, you know, how to work people through a healing process, 
learned how to coach clients with emotional stuff, learned all about, you know, the forms, intake forms, and being able to walk people through, you know, with different health conditions. And so she ended up, I just actually talked to her today, she ended up partnering with another practitioner who's like a functional medicine doctor in a bigger area. Um, so she was able to leave her job at the post office, and now she's working full time at this wellness center with this other practitioner where they already, actually she hasn't been in business for very long. This other practitioner already has some existing clientele. And so when, when Tammy partnered with her, she was able to get up and running and is now seeing like nine clients in a day. And it's, she, she actually didn't have to any, invest in any equipment either. She didn't have to get any bioenergetic testing. She's literally going by, you know, taking client health histories, you know, working them through with her diet, nutrition, and supplements. They don't even offer any other modalities. They don't have sauna. They don't have Rife. They don't do anything else. But she's getting great results with people. And she was telling me she's making $5,000 a month now. And where she was making like $1,500 like before at the post office. So, I mean, it's so awesome to see one of our students be able to apply this information, not have to come up with a ton of money. And it's just, it's just I mean, what she, what she says, is it was a God thing. I mean, God led her to this position with this other practitioner. She really feels like it was a divine appointment. And it's just so cool. And I just love to celebrate our students because they're, they're rock stars. I mean, they're applying this information and they're able to get so many great results with it. So I just had to brag on one of our students there for a minute. And so at some point she may get on the call, but I know we're running out of time today, but um, at some point we'll love to have her on and she can share her own story. <laughs> I love it. So just to summarize, if you want to make a living as a holistic health practitioner, you need to focus on these three pillars, having confidence, getting those great consistent clinical results, and having an effective business model. It is such an amazing position to be in where you can get amazing results and you become, you become that trusted healer in your community where you're making a difference and seeing so many people's lives change, which is, that's exactly why we created our practitioner course in the first place. Yeah, and once you're going to take just one more minute, I know we're over time, and I want to allow a little bit of time if there's any questions, but, you know, we have an online education program because we, we didn't see these kind of things in most other schools, so we actually put together the program we wish we would have had that covers all those different things that we, we knew that it took to get somebody well. Things like detoxification, all the protocols, the forms, the legal aspects of how to practice. And so this is something that's allowed the students that have gone through the program to feel that confidence, to know how to help people with challenging health conditions. Because if you can help somebody with a challenging health condition, you can help somebody with a basic health condition. And to also feel like you're an expert in alternative medicine where you can actually do what you feel like you're called to do and change people's lives. So, like I said, we don't, we don't cover a lot of general health knowledge. We really get down to the nuts and bolts and make this highly practical. And it's about how to apply the information. So that's what makes our course different. It covers stuff that a lot of other schools don't cover, honestly. And so once you've actually gone through this curriculum, this is what you can expect. You can expect to feel confident because you know you can help pretty much any client that walks through the door. You can have a plan for attracting more clients because of the marketing things that we do teach in our program. And we teach you how to create programs. We teach you how to create packages so that you can charge more for certain things and be able to get better results with your clients. We teach you how to solve complex health problems even if you don't know what's going on with someone, even if you don't know the root cause. Like, where do you go with that? But we teach you how to walk through these things step by step. We save so much of time by giving you all of our forms, our documents, our disclaimers, our handouts, our, even our cookbook we created for our clients so that you can get up and running right away and you don't have to create them from scratch. You also will get access to practitioner grade supplements once you graduate, which allows you to buy higher grade things like different herbals and homeopathics and things that are gonna get better results with your clients. You'll learn how to work with clients on emotional things that are keeping them stuck. Because like we said, the physiological stuff only gets people so far if they have anxiety or fear and stress and trauma and all kinds of things like that that are keeping them from being able to apply what they've learned. 
So these behavioral patterns keep people stuck and we show you how to work through those. So we give you basically everything that you need to be able to fulfill your dream of being a, being a successful practitioner who's able to make a living at this, not just a hobby, but you can actually make this into a career and change people's lives every single day. So if you, if you guys would like some more information on how Pure Vitality University can help you, or even if you just want a one-on-one -on -one consult with us, um, you can go to our website at uh, purevitalityuniversity.com, or you can give us a call at one 877 9278473 our course has open enrollment which basically means you can enroll whenever you're ready so there's no one set time you have to do it and if you have questions we want to talk to you whether you choose to work with us or not we we always love to see if we're a fit um, there's never any cost for doing this it's absolutely free and we offer you this um, as a free service because we love doing it um, there is honestly nothing that makes me happier than getting on the phone with a really passionate, really enthusiastic person who is called to change the world and they're ready to take those next steps. Um, it's why when you do a discovery session with us, you will actually speak to me or Becky. It won't be some random person that works for us. Like you'll actually speak to one of us. So we like being invested on that level. So if you want us to help you, um, do that going forward and you think it's a good fit and we think it's a good fit then we may invite you into the course so you can give us a call or go to our website and fill out our application and I assure you we will get with you quickly if you do that so again guys thank you we can't thank you enough I know we ran over some but we can't thank you enough for taking the time to join us today we we hope this webinar has given you a lot to think about <laughs> and has shed some light on some really practical things that you can do to make this go beyond just a thought in the back of your head or a dream or something on your vision board, but to really make a living as a holistic health practitioner. Um, it really is the most rewarding career you could possibly have. I can't imagine doing anything else with my life right now. And so right now we do want to take time and make sure we give you the chance to ask any questions that you may have. Um, we don't mind going over. We're just trying to make the most of your time. but. With you guys here, if you're on here live, you can, there's a QA and a box there at the bottom of your screen on this webinar um, where you can ask questions or chat, and we'd love to answer any questions that you guys have. So we'll take a few more minutes and see if you guys have any questions. And I think we do already. Not a question, but thank you a bunch. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> thank you, guys. Let's see somebody else. Thank you for your time. I also graduated from IAN last year and have felt stuck. Thank you for what you've given us today. Oh, I thank you for that. Um, I, I'm an IIN graduate too, and I would never bash my school. I loved IIN. I've always said it was a great springboard for me to get started, but it definitely wasn't everything that I needed to be at the successful level that I'm at now. And so I'd love for you to contact us and do one of those one on ones um, and so that I can. So that I can talk to you about it and, you know, see, see how, how you can move forward and see if I can help you, you know, have some confidence and, and not feel so stuck. <laughs> Any other questions, you guys? Thank you for hanging in here. I know it was a lot of information, so hopefully it sparked some ideas. Right. Oh, Tammy says, I love you guys. We love you. Aw, Tammy was on. Yay. <laughs> we'll do a call just with you, Tammy, okay? <laughs> interview. Uh-huh. I love it. Well, if there's no other questions, no worries. If you do come up with a question after this, if you're going through the workbook and you kind of feel yourself getting stuck and you're not sure kind of where to go and you do come up with a question, guys, please don't hesitate to ask in the Holistic Health Mastery um, on that page, in that forum. We will be happy to answer any questions that you may have there should you come up with any after this. Uh, but if we have nothing else and it doesn't look like we do, I say that and then somebody pops up. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh. Um, then by all means guys get in contact with us that way or by calling the 800 number or by going to Pure Vitality University and we're happy to answer questions that you may have. Again guys thank you so much for making this just a really 
fun part of our job to get to kind of share our wisdom and our years of experience with you guys. Um, we love this. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you so much and have a great day.